Hi guys and good morning. Okay, huge news and I'm so excited so I thought I'd vlog today. I bought my dream car last night. I was in the dealership until like 9.30 p.m. signing everything and it is official. I am so excited. So we're gonna go pick it up today and do a little joy ride. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, it's the last goodbye. This has been my child. Say bye to old Misty. She's done me well. We're trading her in. Wait, where is my key? We're trading old Misty in. It's my first like car I bought myself after college. It was just, you know, and she's done me well. She, I had such huge cars before her and this next car's huge as well. So it was nice to have like one that I could actually parallel park. Now to learn to parallel park again. <laughs> yeah, she tried parallel parking my car last night and uh, success, but it took like five minutes. It was challenging for the size of the space that she was in. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go get the keys. We're gonna take it on a little joy ride to Trader Joe's after. Trader Joe's. And here she is, all of her glory. <laughs> Look how far in there. It is a literal bright green. Look at me, literally matching my car right now. But. I am so excited. Okay, here's the inside. Isn't it beautiful, Parsa? Dude, the seat warmer is great. Okay, That's all I'm feeling right now. So we got brown and black leather. Um, wait, let's chat. Hey, how you doing? Exciting. Okay, we're about to take our first little joy ride. I am. Uh, I'm so excited. It is beautiful. There's heated wheels, there's heated seats. There's a wireless charging port for my phone, which is so crazy. I, yeah, I am so excited. I, uh, I don't even know what to say. Like I'm like freaking out kind of. <laughs> she literally on the way here was telling me like, I'm, stressing. I'm scared to drive this. I'm stressing so hard and I'm like, yeah. Like I understand, I understand the feeling that when it's like a really nice car, it's like, you're like, yeah, do I really want to drive this? Well, okay, you know that feeling when you drive somebody else's car and you're like really anxious because you like don't want to mess up someone's car? That's how you feel, I feel right now, where it's like big and it's a newer car. My car was so easy and so small and like no one could really hit it. Like I couldn't really hit people because I it was so small. Like it fit in every spot, fit everywhere. But now I got like a, a, a car that takes up some space. So I'm a little scared. I also have to relearn like the width and I, I don't know. I was stressing. Um, but... Does it, okay, this is the first time versus sat in it. I signed it last night without him. Yeah. He, he, I, well, I drove it for the first time yesterday, but this has been my dream car. Literally how long? Years. 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 My mom was looking for yeah. a new car in like 2022 and she was looking at the Broncos, but obviously the Broncos were like impossible to get back then. And I thought they were beautiful. Um, and I've, I've wanted it since. And I feel so, I feel, this is just a big life moment, I feel like. Yeah. I also think like the crazy thing was like yesterday she told me like hey I'm gonna go like take a look at this like you know, I didn't think Broncos. realistically I was gonna get one I literally okay. said like it would not surprise me if you came home and told me you signed for a new car <laughs> lo and behold 9 p.m. she calls me she's like hey funny, um, thing, about funny that. thing about that I if it's a good deal it's a good deal okay if it's a good day it's a good day I wanted it let's be honest <laughs> <laughs> and I've been like holding myself off obviously from getting a new car because my car right now is pretty cheap, pretty affordable um, and I was holding off on getting a new like a, a, a bigger car, a nicer car and I feel like we've done so well this year um, and we've worked so freaking hard the last well, two years and it's time. You're it in was, a place where you can it was do time. it. And you've worked really hard and you deserve it and this is like a testament. It's to hard to feel that. Like, like you, did. you never feel like you're like you deserve like these big purchases you buy yourself, you know, and this is the first time I've bought myself something big like this. Yeah. I mean, we have an apart, like I've never bought in like a house, I've been bought in a bit like a really nice car. My little teeny Kia was my first one when I was graduating college. Yeah. And even that I was like freaking out about. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm so like, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm scared to drive it. Let's take it for a spin, shall we? I know, I need to take a picture with it. Anyways, I am, and obviously could not do it without you all. Let's be honest. Um, I really appreciate y'all's love, y'all's support always. Um, it has allowed me to be able to do all these amazing things with my life. And I don't know where my life would be without y'all and your support. It's crazy. 
It is. Y'all have changed our lives. Hers more than me. Ours but. is ours. Ours, um, yeah. It changed Parsa's life too, for sure. Yeah. People it's actually crazy. Parsa. People literally come up to me. Like, literally, like, people, like, in my grad program are like, oh my god, you date Georgia Daniels. And I'm like, yep. Yep. I'm always uh, in Georgia's boyfriend, but I, I love it. And, you know, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of everything you've done. I don't even know what to say sometimes, but... I love it. It's beautiful and it's green and it's bright and it's huge. I want a picture with it in a second. The hard top. This. Oh, sh look. It removes like in like pieces. Yeah. Oh, the whole like hard the, top the, removes and like I can exchange it for like a, like a. Yeah, but like there's an extra cost and you can add a hard top. So you have a hard top on here that removes. Um. Yeah. I'm so excited to take this thing for a spin in the summer too with the tops off. Oh, it's gonna be great in the summertime. Okay, let's go. We're gonna do a coffee run and a Trader Joe's run in Georgia and Parsa fashion in the new car because we have to break her in. Um, and yeah, let's, let's go. Going. Let's go. And in my package today, they gave me a new Young LA uh, air freshener. So of course we're christening the car. What is the smell? Forest rain. Forest rain. Why is it like kind of? Oh my God! Forest green car. It's a sign. It's a sign. All of this was sign. Eh, I don't know if it's. It's almost like Young LA knew that you were getting a new car. And they Young LA knew I was getting a new car and they nicely sent me an air freshener for it because they know I'd be sweating and I'd be stinking. Okay. Yeah, you stank. Okay. Hit a stanky leg right now in your car. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. P.U. What smells in here? <laughs> so? Georgia, you stank. Okay, the funny thing is, because I wasn't planning on getting, well, planning on getting a car yesterday, um, I didn't tell anybody, and this is the first time I, like, didn't deeply talk to my parents about getting the car I was gonna get, and, like, them give me, like, a whole spill. So I sent my picture of mom, my mom, my picture to my mom yesterday, just, like, of the car, and I was like, isn't this beautiful? And she's like, oh my gosh, that looks just like you, because I tell her how much I've been wanting a Bronco, and, um, I call her, I'm just talking about other stuff, and I was like, that's my car. I just signed for it. I'm in the dealership right now. And she was freaking out. So we're going to FaceTime my mom and my dad and show them me in the car. I told them about it, but I didn't have it, obviously, yesterday. Your mom. Hey. Hey, look. <gasps> ah! We're oh in the my new God. car. We're in the new car. That's so amazing. Oh, I love the way they... Oh, wow. Look. Got a small drip coffee this morning. Put some stevia in there. What'd you get? I got a uh, espresso. Or sorry, americano. It has espresso in it. Okay, Trader Joe's haul haul. Um, olive oil, spray oil. Vegan cheese. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the best vegan cheese there is. It's spicy and it melts. What? Um, I was putting it away. As you, as you do the whole, I'll, I'll bag it. Um, I keep running out of vegetables. I've got a bunch of frozen green beans. I really, really love the organic jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. It is microwavable. You can tell we really like it. Um, you work like dream work. Uh, know how much I love these maple sausages. Got some more of these, and then I got some potatoes and some frozen wild blueberries. So they're out of raspberries. There is some things that there's some things that I feel like people universally know are amazing at Trader Joe's and always sold out, and it's the frozen raspberries, the maple sausages, the vegan cheese, the dark chocolate. I couldn't get that today because it was sold out. There's just a lot of stuff I feel like that I buy that. Other people understand and buy too. Anyways, um, don't look at the time because we haven't eaten breakfast because I went and got the car this morning. So we're about to make some breakfast and um, get the day going. But it is Saturday, so I have a pretty, like, obviously not a pretty chill day. I have to do um, a little bit of work, but I'm gonna do cardio. I'm gonna train. Yesterday's check in, uh, Brandon did drop some stuff. We had a refeed yesterday. He basically said, I'm skinny and literally gonna blow away. We had a refeed yesterday, and then 
he dropped my food to basically I do carb cycling too low and then a high uh, and then 50 minutes of cardio from 45 so just five more minutes nothing too too crazy 45 has been getting pretty chill and pretty easy so I don't mind um, I don't know if I'm going to show this yet but this shirt is part of the next drop Um, but this is pretty, <laughs> so it's a sports bra. It came in today, so I wanted to show y'all. <laughs> it's so pretty. I couldn't help but wear it. Um, I'm gonna do. I was gonna do a try on haul. This is what happens every time. I'm like, I'm gonna do a try on haul, but then the first half of the drop comes earlier than the second half of the drop, and I've worn the entire first half, and um, they're all in the dirty clothes, and I can't find it all. It just sprout, like goes everywhere. So. This time I'm gonna try to be like really on it and do, my, do a try on haul because it's so cute. It's so much workout clothes, I'm excited. When there's a drop that's like new workout clothes and stuff, I get like super excited because I'm like, I don't know, I feel so good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna make a breakfast now. It's a little bit late today, but it's a low day. So food's a little bit lower. Um, meals are still the same though, meal sources. It's just um, as I start getting deeper in prep, I just lower the sources per meal. Um, so like I was doing 100 carbs of rice on my low day for my lunch, now I'm doing 80. So it's nothing crazy. Um, so don't think you're having to like yank out carbs entirely from meals. We kind of do small progressions, slowly pull it, slowly up cardio, like I have five more minutes of cardio. Um, but small changes with good discipline and heavy consistency is what makes progress. Um, it's not about obviously who can do it for a week. It's about who can keep up with it for months on end. Um, so yeah, that's what makes a success, successful bodybuilders. You know, you can be given a plan, but can you stick to it? So, um, the small changes, nothing super, super crazy. 16 weeks out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make our pre-workout meal and go to the gym. I'm gonna change into one of the other outfits that is dropping. I don't have all the colors, but I'm gonna see what colors I have like the full set of. I don't even have prep brain yet. I'm just, my brain does not work ever. And this is how I, I'm gonna show you how I plan my week. When we're looking at a blank week, this is what I do. I'll literally write out at the top the days I'm doing cardio. So I'll write cardio, 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 cardio. And then I'll write push, pull, whatever. You know what I mean? If I'm doing like quads, push, hamstrings. Like I'll write at the top. I'll also put the days that I'm doing like high and low days. So I'll do low, low, high, low, low, high. And it'll basically I'll fill it in for like the week when I get to my check-in. So, so sometimes I have to go to my planner to remember what I'm working out, which is so bad. So I do have cardio today. I'm doing a low day and I'm doing glutes and delts. So I probably will change to some shorts instead of sweatpants. Three workout cream of rice. And I'm using the Evergen. This is banana cream. Y'all probably don't know this, but I am a huge banana person. And I saw that and I was like, you know, you kind of like start to crave bananas and stuff near the end. And it's not in your meal plans. You can't add in bananas. Um, banana protein powder is the way. Anyways, yeah, it's banana cream pie, I think. And it's surpassed my expectations. We did, of course, microwave some bloobs. And we're adding that on top of my cream of rice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's that TikTok trend? It's like <laughs> But it's like the strawberries. Okay. Well hopefully somebody knows what that is. The check. I have the new outfits on, of course. <laughs> okay, so I wore I put the new shorts on. I'm wearing my whole outfit. I'm wearing my whole outfit in the color charcoal. Um, the model is W133. I don't know what that means. I guess I haven't named it yet. Uh, but these are the shorts. They look a, like the seam is like one we have made in the past. The, the Black Friday ones. You know when I wear those like orange and burgundy ones and stuff? They're the same shorts. I forget what those are called, but I assume they're the same ones. The only thing, they're softer. Like they definitely made some adjustments. I feel like the seam isn't as like stiff. And then this same thing, a lot stretchier. I feel like really comfortable, really soft. And the top is the same feeling. They have a lot of detail on the sleeves. Like, see, that is beautiful. I love that. Like the V's and stuff. And not everybody is a crew neck like kind of person or like halter neck. I'm a halter neck girl. Um, I saw somebody wearing these, like one of the bottles, and they posted it, and I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. So I'm a, like, I love this. 
love to the ends of the earth freaking this is amazing i love this i i oh i feel like a little superhero you know um the sports bra absolutely amazing so stretchy no compression no itchiness no tightness anything i they this is the best best sets they drop i am no lie they are dropping a color and i don't have all of it i wish i could wear it today but it is what's color moss Are you kidding me? Okay, I cannot wait to do a freaking haul. That color is going to slay. And then one more color that's going to slay. What is with me in green? Y'all know I'm a green girly. You saw the car. Pine. This is like a, uh, it's, I guess, kind of green. I feel like it's more like an aqua teal. But so beautiful, those two colors. Oh, God. Anyways, this is the outfit. Um, let me give you a close up of the bottoms. So beautiful, so soft. Now we're gonna put some sweats on top. Pants. Okay, I put some pants on top. Alfie oh, got so excited. I don't think they can see him in the brain. Okay, this is gonna be up. And we're gonna get some pre-workout. And we're gonna take, I'm so excited to go to the gym because I get to take my car for the first time to the gym. I should title it like my first time. Can I say that? No, not really. I feel like that's good clickbait. I think I can say that. It's funny though. We're doing so good about the YouTube video though, guys. We have a YouTube video literally going up at 5 p.m. today. I scheduled it for today. And then this one's probably gonna go up in a couple days. Parcel, when is this video gonna go up? This video will go up whenever I finish editing it. When so is that gonna, when is that gonna be, Parcel? Probably Monday. Probably. You heard it first, you heard it first, first is on Monday. Like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll know exactly when this video and future ones go live. I also want to know, I kind of just post, like when I record a video and I'm trying to record as much as possible, as soon as Parcel edits it, I post it like immediately, like that night. Um, do y'all like it like that? Or would it be better to like have it be the same day every week? So it's, <laughs> so y'all know when I'm posting, I don't know because like, like for example, we posted what today's Saturday. So I'm posting, I posted last Saturday too. So do y'all prefer it's like, oh, every Saturday or do y'all, do y'all just like it better that I'm like just posting as I'm recording? I feel like it feels more like in the time, like it's exactly what's happening, but I feel like people wouldn't know. So comment below if I should just post as soon as I edit it or if I should actually have a schedule because I don't know. I always act like I'm gonna have a schedule, but it never happens. Anyways, here's the Alfie time of the day. Give him a little pats. Get them pats. Get the little pats. How can I get over this? I literally, I'm not gonna be able to. Look how massive the back is. Like all this room for my gym bag. Get this graphic too. Watch him build. <laughs> Guys, it's happened. I just parallel parked. Take that parcel. He's editing right now when he sees this. Take that parcel, okay? I just parallel parked and it was really hard. It took like five minutes. But I'm gonna show y'all, I'm in a freaking tight spot. Like I did that shit. I will say this car is just really nice and it shows like a 360 camera. I don't know if I'd be able to do it if it didn't come with like the bougie 360 camera because I it shows you like even the tie, you know, everything and it all ends. <laughs> like, even if I'm not parking, like, I can click this and then I can see, like, what's around my car. <laughs> but look, you can see me in my spot. I'm in my, kind of, I'm in my spot. Wow, Parsa. I, oh, wow. I did that shit. I, I did that shit. Fuck, it's so cold now. Okay. Oh, okay, car off. Now oh, it's time to lift. I had to loop around though like four times to find a parking spot um, because there is no parking spot and I was scared because I really can't fit anywhere um, now in this car. Okay, we're gonna chug our caffeine free pre-workout and then I usually drink it with an energy drink. <laughs> this is, I don't know if y'all have seen this, this brand's on Amazon, it's Salimo. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It is cheap. Like $16, I think, when I got it for a case of 12. It tastes like a white monster. It's 10 calories. 
160 milligrams of caffeine, which I really like. Um, I like it when it's like below 200 caffeine for an energy drink. Then I feel like it's still like normal to drink that when I've had a coffee. We're gonna go hit a uh, glutes and delts day. Uh, mostly shoulders and then a little bit of glutes. Okay, it's another day, but I thought I would outro the video kind of separately. Um, it's crazy. I don't know, I, I, it's, it was just crazy um, to be able to buy a car like this. And I, every single day, I don't let myself forget how grateful I am and how lucky I am to be able to live my dream life. Um, we work hard every single day, but that doesn't mean that we aren't freaking blessed. As always, I appreciate the fuck out of you all um, and your support. It's been a wild, wild ride and I have been so grateful for what 2024 has held for me and I cannot, I cannot believe it's only February. Like, this has been such an amazing year. So, now we manifest. 2024 is a freaking amazing year. It's the year I go pro. It's the year I do my first pro show. And I think it's just going to be a year I'll never forget. So, thank y'all for watching. Love y'all and see you next video.